love taking out the trash, throwing it in the dumpster. <laughs> Let that trash sit with the rats because it's trash. So we got to take it out and talk about the worst of the worst. Party. I don't know why I'm snapping. Okay. Um, that anyways. was just not at all what I was expecting. It was <laughs> not at all. Like, literally not a, none of what usually I, I expect. Was, was like a, <laughs> usually I'm expecting like a parody song and this was not <laughs> that. Just, so you know, we're, we're trying something out. different. <laughs> kind of failed, but it's fine. Um, anyways, hi everybody. Um, we're here talking about garbage. Not literal garbage, but just, you know, figurative Mus- garbage. Musical garbage. <laughs> musical garbage. Um, welcome back That's to the- That's about the same worth as literal garbage, yeah. let's be honest. Well, yeah, f- somewhat. Welcome back to the, uh, the one, the only, the knee slap in K-pop podcasts. And it is your girl, Maria. And I am here with the editor herself, Kayla. Hello, hello. And our lovely main spokesperson herself, Sammy. Hello? <laughs> yes, I think I think you are the spokesperson of this podcast. I think so. Okay. I, I I mean, I'll self-designate you as that. And now I'm just here saying stupid shit and all that jazz. You know, we're just we're just here. Um, I'm just here. Anyways, um, if you haven't seen our first video of the year for the best, definitely recommend y'all to check that out. But today we are here to talk about what we think is the worst of the worst of what we've heard this year in K-pop. The worst songs of 2023. Um, yes. Yep, yep. So this will be fun. Oh boy, was it a, was it a struggle bus? Uh-huh. It was a time. What Although, a time to be alive. Yeah. Overall, it was better, but dear God, was the bad. The bad was really bad. Mm-hmm. Um, the bad also had a theme. It did. It did. We're going to hit a point in the list Um, very... Like very short, soon. very shortly into the list, where all of the songs sound the same, <laughs> and that I think from eight is correct. from eight to one, all of the songs sound the same. <laughs> yeah, or they, they have, all have a very they have the similar same theme. general sound to them, um, which is yes. not should not be shocking, but that's how the list no. is working this year. We have a clear problem. Yep. Yeah, and this, the other this thing, a theme. this might be our most controversial list. Oh, Which yeah. Which are the songs, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. No, all the songs. Every song. You think every song? I've okay. seen every single one of these songs defended like it was nobody's not, business. Not number nine. I don't think anyone's talking about number nine. No but one, like, again, because no. no one knows about number nine. <laughs> yeah. But, like, obje- like, every song on here has been defended to hell and back. Mm-hmm. It's been a choice. We should do our honorable mentions. Oh, actually, our, well, in this case, this honorable dis- dishonorable mentions. mentions. Dishonorable mentions. We dishonorable mentions. This year, we've decided to only do like each of our personal picks, yeah, which one is a piece. song we each have personal beef with. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, mainly just because making a dishonorable mentions uh, was just going to be the same thing. The, it over would have, and, over and again. the whole thing would have been the same. It would have sounded exactly the it's same. It's the same thing again. The same yeah, show. but there were three songs there. that didn't particular. Uh, technically, there's four, but like we'll get to that fourth. Their one. honorary we, dishonorable eleventh un- place. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We'll get so to that we one. We have four in songs second. to talk about. Yeah. Yes. So first one is Rise Talk Saxy. Um, I hate it. Yeah, That's Sammy's I hate it. personal vendetta. I pick. hate it. I <laughs> I'm just disappointed. I've heard I mainly, this song. I think I mainly am not the biggest fan of Rise due to the fact that they just took out what's his name, Sunchan and Shotaro from NCT, and just were just like, we're just gonna shove you in this group, guys. Now screw the fact I that mean, we added you guys to NCT honest, last minute. The best but... thing that could have happened. I again, I think Kayla and I we talked about this. Gone, literally we yes- talked about Rise literally yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Because we've recorded a different episode yesterday. And I think we came to a revelation about Rise, which uh-huh. is that um, if Rise was making music 10 years ago, we'd be perfectly okay with Rise because SM was just in a fundamentally different place as a company. Yeah. But I think if these same people were given good music, they'd be fine. Right. And also the best thing that could have happened to Shotaro and Sung Chen was to be taken out of the dumpster yeah, fire probably. that is NCT. I, but it's just kind of like, but at that, po- at that point, I'm just kind of like, why did you even put him in NCT in the first place? Like that's the because thing that bothers me. SM doesn't know what they're doing. Exactly. Objectively. I think they had an actual plan for NCT Japan at one point, and then the plans for NCT G- NCT Fell Japan apart. got increasingly more difficult for some reason, and then yes. they were just like Something fucking around trying to figure NCT out what's going Japan. on. 
Something fundamentally also happened with NCT where they realized that NCT could not be their only boy group forever. Yeah. And then they were fundamentally like, well, we can't just keep the two mo like, and then things happened with Rise. They probably realized they needed a little bit more back, but like a more presence there. Like there's a lot happening a lot I think, of behind things. the scenes. The, at a SM lot of this bad year. SM decisions that had to a lead lot to of Rise decisions happening. Were made this yeah. year. One thing I haven't been able to tell has been a ten- has has people actually even liked Rise. I can't even tell. A lot of people like Rise. A lot do? Okay. A lot of people like Rise. They're the second best-selling boy group after ZD1, and it's, like, pretty close. Like, and that's why. Actually, wise. I'm not surprised by that, because it is yeah, SM they're Entertainment. Yeah, they're the new SM boy group. It's yeah. not... Who knows what the real opinions are? They could Rise put out are, any music they're... ever, and they would have had the same response to them, so... But, to specifically the issue with Talk Saxy... It, once Jason Derulo are buff. We, so, we spoke about Jason this earlier yesterday. I feel like I'm like, I feel like I have a lot of data. Jason Derulo. And the main issue will always be that I think Rise still doesn't have personality because I don't think SM is letting them figure it out yet. Yeah. Because <laughs> the thing is, they need to try to make them distinct from NCT, but they have made everyone in their company sound like NCT for so long mm-hmm. that I don't know if they know how to do anything else. Because right Rise, now. Do, all I can say about Rise's music is that like it's not NCT music, but it is no. SM boy group music for sure. Yes. Like, and the thing is, I can I can see the wheels turning on how on them trying to make this not NCT. Mm-hmm. I hope it's for the better. Get a That's all I gotta say. A little clearer with get a guitar. Get a guitar is get a guitar clear. much clearer that that was a new direction, not NCT. And then we got talk sexy, and I'm like, but okay, so we're back. We're back, back to, to square NCT. one again. Yeah, because I think that they had get a guitar again, much like a debut. Like you judge a group based on debut and like first comeback, because first comeback, like you can workshop a debut for years. But, like, first comeback is when you really, like, have to start figuring out what the group is, and you have less time to make it. Yeah. And then, again, when your first comeback turns right back to Talk Saxy, which is not NCT, but it, turning the NCT direction. Right. I am I don't need them to be the seventh NCT subunit. Uh, yeah, we don't And also, I that. just don't think it, like, that song objectively doesn't work for them. They're very, like, they're not... I don't know. There's something that they just don't fit the concept. It doesn't sound good at all. Those horns are the shit. Horns, the horn sample the is horns are terrible. so shitty. It's so shitty. And it just keeps coming. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I think Sung Chan showed her they have talented people here. I just don't think that they're gonna use them ever. Nope. Because I don't trust SM anymore. Nope, nope. Nope. Because why would SM do something that smart at this point? Like, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. So um, our second song is that's Ives Kitch. This is mine. <laughs> this is mine. Um, I just find it to be really f- 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 the swear. Annoying. Incredibly annoying. Shitty. Just what what do you want to say? Terrible. <laughs> um, I'm of the opinion that I I'll say it. Let's put it this way. I think the swan this song spoiler should be swapped out for another song on this list, but like the other song I, I also don't love, so like, you know, I I get it. But, like, this one, to me, is the worst I've tracked this year. Like, the only song I think I've liked from them is I Am. And I Am, I think, is decent. I It wasn't, in my opinion, it wasn't top 10 decent, but I thought it was a decent song. But, like, Kat, 90s, 90s, Kat, I did, 90s, it's like a weird way of saying bitch, but with a K, so it's, like, almost gives off the vibe. Does, no, what does but, it mean? Does it mean kitch breathe? is a word. Kitch is not, like, not a word. I'm, kitch is a word. They just don't know what it means. Well, 90s kitsch to me sounds to like they're saying kitchy. 90s bitch or like, what is it? Well, that's because that's what that song should have been. But they're also kitsch. Also, I don't think any they of them can't were... say 90s bitch because none of them were born they're in the 90s. Not so what does kitsch actually they're probably, mean? They're probably also not allowed to say bitch in a K-pop title. They also song. probably can't say bitch. But that's the mainly the problem. But like, kitsch okay. is an actual word. It's like tacky. Like, kitschy, catchy, like kitschy things are like little te- like you could call like little knickknacks a lot of them are called kitschy like th- it's an actual word it just means like the opposite of how they're using it which is another problem with aka they're not understanding the kind of vocab they're putting to their music which also doesn't help as which well. like in k-pop is not the worst thing i've ever heard. Like, like yeah that's true to be fair but like, like kitsch still. is not a word i would expect to be in like an american k-pop song like there's no reason for that you to be using kitschy in your teen, you know, hot teen girl group concepts. Yeah. 
It's like the antithesis of what you want. It's Basically. Just like, they are just they just look stupid. Like the whole song is they like do. so stupid. Let's put it this way, I was so glad when they put out I am and stuff. I'm like, oh god, this is Link's better. Thank God. There's still something there. <laughs> is was, there? I mean, to me, it was better superior. So I was just like, okay, so it's not a complete trash shit show here. I'll take it. <laughs> um, but I don't think we need. I'm not going to say anything about I am because I don't think we need to shit on all of the I've songs no, of this year. I mean, I, I like them. I like I am, but like, yeah, I know you two aren't the biggest on into I just I've at this like, point. I just which don't is fine, like but I've as a group. I just don't like them. I don't like them. I don't- they uh, a I lot of it's a lot of it's Wat Young for gonna be on this, but the rest of them ain't helping that much. All right, All so right. the others, the third yeah. One. So my Kayla's- my um pick is Fantasy Boys Potential, and this is why are we making a sexy song when we have multiple thirteen year olds in a boy group? Like, yeah, what that are, doesn't make sense. Two thirteen year olds are we, and a What are we doing? What are we doing? Like, what are what, we doing? What are we doing? It's really why are we sexualizing bad. minor boys? It's Why? so because con- you're allowed to sexualize oh minor boys. You're not allowed to sexualize minor girls. Remember, this is K-pop it's, we're talking. It's about. Awful, still doing anyway. Actually. It's like it's awful. It's like they thought, oh yeah, we'll wait for them to grow up. Growing up being like three months from debut, and I'm like, yeah. okay, well they're like, still again, thirteen years old. Is, like, you know how he talks about how in ZB one, you 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 know you make a song for the group that you were given. They. They wrote all of the all of the fantasy boy songs before the group was made. Yes. No matter oh, what group was made on that show, they were going to get the, the those couple songs. They were gonna get New Tomorrow, they were gonna get Potential, they were gonna get whatever the, the, the other, other one, one I forget get what it, it was. Get it called. on, which is just a noise uh, just whatever. a bad noise song, like it is so like and so how no here we are with this weird in that group. weird sexy song but we have children in the group and like and- to be honest were they probably expecting to have three 13 year old two 13 year olds and a 14 year old probably not. no probably not well maybe but they should have edit- it. well maybe they should have edited it. their show in a way to make them popular on the show like they also were Again. actively a part of this <laughs> why it I, happened we literally talked about this yesterday and i continue to say i just hope that gu ray and Kaden, and the other and that one, other kid whose name I don't and know, and the other fourteen-year-old kid whose name we forget, yeah. are okay and safe. Yes, and uh, specifically, and uh, also, can I just say, fuck Gure Hazel? And, uh, fuck specifically, Hazel. I hope Gure has stopped being bullied, yeah. and I hope that <laughs> someone is looking after the poor American boy, Kaden, who, who d- was lost barely, in Korea, who barely speaks Korean, who is here. Like, also, truly, those like, two. What are we doing? Me <laughs> and sometimes. screw Kaisel. Screw Kaisel. Fuck Kaisel. Yeah. Fuck Get Kaisel. the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Kaisel, whose right. age we still do not know. <laughs> And we'll never know. It will be a mystery. Kaisel's age will always be a mystery. One of the biggest K-pop mysteries of all time. Yes. And then, so our last is on our mention, which is our unofficial 11th, uh, which is our unofficial 11th place. Yep. Uh, A song that was on the list for most of the year. Got kicked off, like, three weeks ago. When a bad song came out and replaced it, yeah. Immediately. Uh, So it's NCT Dreams ISTJ. Which is like so disappointing because I actually kind of like the song, but it's like, ugh, there's that stupid NCT influence just coming in and fucking it up. It just, the problem is that it is a bad NCT song being done by Dream, who is unfortunately, fortunately for them, but like talented. Yes. And the problem is it's the squandered potential of these talented boys mm-hmm. being ruined by whatever They're the fuck really SM is giving. They're really being dragged down by the music so, they are so hard. Down. Oh, like, yeah. honestly, I think NCT Dream is up there with, like, some of the best NC- Like, some of the best N- SM has put out in terms of talent. Yeah. Maybe, like, they've grown into it because they were literal children. Right. But, like, over time, they've gotten so good, and I think they're very talented. The problem is that they're in NCT, and for some reason they have to make NCT 127 light. Yeah, and now we're blurring the line in between what NCT 127 and NCT Dream are and what they are musically now, so Mm -hmm. they just get really bad music unfortunately and they're yeah on, they're on thin ice like we are they are really they really really are. on thin mm-hmm. ice now oh. there's only so much that their talent can save yeah, yeah. which is unfortunate and that's not their fault they're doing their best and that's not their fault because the other thing best. is that like it used for a couple of years i remember us saying that the blur the line between dream and 127 was that 
NCT got the shitty songs and Dream was the good one. Uh -huh. The problem is the song quality has gone down so much that I feel like no one's trying anymore because they realize that Dream's just going to sell. Even though Dream still sells better. Dream sells so well to be the redheaded stepchild. I know. It's a, so unfortunate it's for really them. It's really stupid. It doesn't it make any sense to me why they are the more popular group that SM is trying to make the less popular group actively. It's so stupid. Doesn't make any sense to me. We have a lot of emotions about... NCT, NCT brings out of a lot of emotions. So we're going to have more emotions about it. We're going to bring list, it out so again. Let's, let's just get this, let's get this party started. Let's get, let's get, let's get started, started to officially number 10 now. <laughs> yep. So number 10 is, I think, a culmination of a group that's been on thin ice for years. For years yeah. now. Yeah. Years. And finally they pushed it too far. Yep. Because at number 10 we have the boys with lip gloss. Uh, you know where you push it over the edge? Christmas, Christmas in August. Christmas in August is what mm -hmm. it is. Christmas in August is where you get where you push me over the oh, edge. Yes. But also, the boys has at at one point was a great boy, like great one of our faves. Early twenty twenty, we excited. Peak the boys, like Road to Kingdom peak era. The boys. the boys, like so good. And like it looked like they finally found their style. They were vibe and everything was great. And then over the last, like, three years, they have just kept putting out music. And it's kept getting... Worse and worse. Worse and worse. More generic. Because I feel like, I think The Boys has fully lost all the personality they've the ever had. The Boys is yeah. also trying to be NCT Light in a lot they of are. ways with their they music. They are. It's like NCT Light meets, weirdly, a little bit of treasure. Yeah. Like, it's, like, we, like, they're just trying to take influences from other boy groups, and I feel like they lost everything that they were, like, no, like, I don't, I don't know who they are anymore. Yeah. Who is, because this isn't the boys. Right. What is this? What is this? Who is this? I wouldn't call this the boys. No. That is famously on the podcast anti Christmas, um, Christmas. Very famously. And so when you come out with music. Christmas in August and, we're like shoehorning the Christmas, and that was strike number one for them on this song. Also, yeah. the music video is weird, weird and uncomfortable in a lot of ways. <laughs> it's like the heterosexual version of an only one of video. It's so cute. It's so weird. It's like it's trying to be teen beach movie, but it's but just also like sexy, sexy in a weird way. The part that like absolutely but also took PG. me out. PG, but it what took me out is multiple of them just doing the choreo for the song just completely shirtless, shirtless. I like took me out for I no was like, I can't believe I'm seeing this happen right now <laughs> yeah it just feels very I don't know it both feels try hard and low effort yes it's both simultaneously at the same somehow. time and I'm just like why yeah also the music video know. has like a weird like two at least skit. two minute long movie skit in the middle of it for yeah. some reason which is not helping with anything and also if you, i will i'm gonna concede one thing i if you listen to the song and don't realize that the concept of the album christmas. was christmas in august it's you're fine. not gonna necessarily get it too much from the music itself yeah but like it's not not like if it came out in winter it's christmas sounding it's it is definitely the least bad sounding song on this list and by by like quite a margin like it's not Absolutely. it doesn't sound as shit as a lot of other things do it's mainly the concept of everything around it that what that and also it here. just the sheer squandered potential that is yeah. the boys and it was really the like yeah. they've been on like the short list for on dishonorable mentions like being on this list multiple years multiple in a row years. now years so and there's that's what so also there's only so from. much i can do with this now at some point you just gotta like accept it yeah and the christmas in august is what 
would really did it. The Christmas in yeah, August just weird, really man. pushes it over the edge. This ain't no Meli Kaliki Maka. Like, get the get the fuck out of it's here. It's also bro. like they also are late by a month. Um, from the, it's like it's they not even are, even because it's Christmas, Christmas in July. In July. Like, it's Christmas it was Christmas in August, August, which is not a thing. Just is stupid. Yeah. All right. Uh, but at number nine is the most I think Nugu of the songs on the list that most people yes. hear. Never gotta have it. a classic Nugu Nugu but on here. We do have to have the Nugu representation on these lists always, and so at number nine we have Rock a Girl with Crazy Love. Um, Rocket Girl, Rocket one girl singular person, one, one girl. Yeah, with a one band. girl. Um, she sounds like shit. She sounds really bad. Just, I don't know what it is. Who but did, her, who she, she also sounds so oh like God. shit that they that she is trying to be that the mix is trying to drown her out. Yeah, you can barely hear her because she can't sing that well. She sounds bad, and also. The like the mixing is really really bad. Like it's it even is. worse. She also this feels so. This is insulting, but also true. Do you remember post Rebecca Black's Friday? Uh-huh. How any parent with a little bit of money could get their daughter a really cheaply made, really cringy music video in the mid. Yeah, oh, yeah. So this is like yeah, that. Yeah. I can see that. It feels like that. Yes. It's, and, like, they're all embarrassing yes. as shit. Yes. But, like, this one is almost worse because those were embarrassing. This one almost feels almost... I mean, not this one. I've I've looked at other Rocket Girl videos, which is where this is coming from more so. Uh-huh. Where it's the fact that this feels sexually exploitative. That's why it's got the Because multiple of her other goose... videos are just her in a bikini. I was going to say, it's got the, the uncomfortable new goo sexiness to it as well. It it's, does. It's also making it worse. And the fact that the other video for her I found is her only in a bikini. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't not. Says a lot. Do not like that. We do not like bringing back the new goo sexy in the year 2023. No, we I don't. Really yes. It has all the hallmarks really for new we sexy. Done with that. It really has all the hallmarks of new goo sexy. Yeah, everything about this is like just all sus, body, man. And you can't hear her. No, you cannot hear her. Like, everything about this is just sus, man. That's really what it is to me. It's Don't just love very it. Sus. And also, like, thankfully, it is so Nugu that it, like no one has heard of it. But like, I'm so sorry to have brought it to your attention. Yeah. Whoever's watching, yep, yep. It's our fault. But also, well, now you, you gotta stay. This is, stay this is the Gotta stay informed, though. You gotta stay informed. We can't let this happen again. Yep, yep. I have nothing more to say. These people. No, are, it was I just. No, I, it was can't, I can't. Not good. No, also, like, no don't we think it's kind of creepy with the old dudes just in the group? And I'm just. They look older. I don't know if they're in the group. I don't know if they're just what a backing part of her band? band. I don't know. I'm just confused. I don't know own. if that's like if those men change muse like video to like if it's just a studio musician situation. Yeah. Like whoever is around to just do it. Yeah, I hope that's the case. Who knows? Anyways, um, number eight. Lovely number eight. Um, they're back again, this group. Again. Back, back, back again. Just, you know, just telling us that, you know what? Yeah, they're going to be stuck on this path, and it's just going to be shit. Absolute shit, honestly, which sucks. Um, yeah, not looking forward to it. And this is just complete shit, too. At uh, number eight, we have... Lapalus with Who's Next? I almost butchered their name. Tell me who's next. Tell me who's next. Tell me who's next. So what you got? What you got? What you got? Tell me who's next. Tell me who's next. Gosh. I, 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 well, Lollapalooza. Because apparently only... it's a fucking yes. Lollapalooza. The only thing I can say as an improvement from last year is we do have a second verse this time. We do we have, have a second verse, verse guys. We did remember to make a song. Yeah. <laughs> we did remember to finish the song before we gave it to them to sing. Yeah. The weird thing is that, like, this was an improvement year for MLD overall. Right. Because <laughs> we did end up with Horizon, who we liked. Yes. 
and a new ID who you we know, just discovered. <laughs> a new ID who were fine. And like T numbers is rebrand. T one four one nine's rebrand was like is... better than original T one four one nine. Right. I guess so maybe, they are, you know, I guess they also are um one spot lower on this list this year too. They so are, that is are. true. So there is improvement, but like I uh, and you know, it's and still not great. And I do think that like again, again, it's possible, but like I do think that there is hope that maybe MLD's turning it around. Maybe overall. It's not the hopeless situation it was last year because yeah. I was certain Ooh, last year. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still not convinced. And I'm not 100 percent certain they'll be on this list next year. Maybe I'm still not right. convinced with this group, but Horizon, like... Horizon's turn, Horizon might be turning MLD around. Right, but I this like group, Horizon. I don't know if I have a lot of hope. This group, no, no faith for. Them. But they also could disappear. They could. That's the other thing. They are new goo enough that they could just not make music again. Yeah. But this is like the stereotypical the that new they goo did last year. noise music. Like it is, yeah. It's just low budget and it's noisy. Yeah, and it's really low budget. My it's God, it's really low, really low budget. God, <laughs> though not the lowest budget on this list. Well, like comparison to their debut, not Rocket definitely Girls more here. low budget. Not when Rocket Girl, but I'm yeah. saying like weirdly, it's <laughs> we're th- let's not say we don't like low budget. <laughs> Given we have the seven, true, but there's like smart but ways. No, to they're do not good. Yet. Like they're it's very. Bad. It's loud. It's loud in your face, and it's obnoxious. Yeah. The theme of this list. Yeah, we've now spoilers. We've reached the the section of the list where all the songs sound the same. Like <laughs> where they all sound loud in your face and obnoxious. Yep. That's gonna be the theme for the rest of the list. It's been the theme of the year. That's the theme always with these lists, honestly. Is that's the type of music Fair we really enough. just that's cannot like the three deal things with. that we hate: loud and annoying. You could. The weird thing is that the loud one is the only thing that can sometimes switch over. Right. It's loud mixed with annoying and obnoxious. Yeah. The minute like loud is like the the fifty fifty factor. Right. I think what really does it with the noise music is the ones that like very distinctly sound, sound like they're on a construction, like a construction site. site. Those are the ones where I'm like, yeah. okay, there's no saving. When you that. sound mechanical, right? Speaking of mechanical, yep. So at number seven, we have Ive with Baddie. But I'm a baddie, but the baddie, baddie, pretty little risky baddie. More than dirty, 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 as you catch me if you got and baddie, but the baddie, baddie, not enough, so go get in me. I'll chop you more, charge it, and catch me if you got and. Okay. Yeah, so that's this why, is, this that's is the why one Kitch where I'm kind of like. List is because baddie that's is why here. Kitch isn't on the list. Because baddie is. I, I still think Kitch is Again. worse, but Batty, it, it's very mediocre, and it's giving, like, them trying to, they're trying to do a Megan the Stallion type beat, but they ain't rappers, and they don't have the, what's the, the attitude to pull it off, really? So, <laughs> so, how I described, if you watched our good list, I decided to describe Lee Seraphim, two groups that have nothing in common, but bear with me, mm-hmm. as the way... They're both doing a similar concept. They're both doing the cool girl concept. But whereas a good cool girl concept is, hey, I'm a cool girl. Look at all this great. Like, look at me. I'm great. I'm amazing. I have all of this. These talent. Like, I'm a great. I have this. Yeah. The the more stereotypical cool girl concept and what I've does is the I don't care. Look how little I care. Which just makes it, so why do I care? Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other problem is I've looked like they're kin- look like they're in middle school. So really, you're cool? Why? Because you your parents let you go to the mall by yourself today? It's also- Like, Ive is, Ive is the least cool, cool girls I've ever seen. Uh-huh. And I think with this song, when they're like really, really trying to tell you they're cool, and I'm like, you really, you're not selling it to me. Like, it's not- Why? Not is it because it. you can rent a movie by yourself now? Right. It's like, this is not Did you it. get the first- <laughs> Did your mom finally get you a non-flip phone? Like, what's- Like, they're, they, they're not given the vibe. And it's They're like, giving... the thing I'll say, say with Ive is, like, I don't like their music generally, but with stuff like I Am and their other songs, yes. that concept is more, like, kind of generic in the way that it's just kind of more elegant and stuff, where this one is really 
trying to be like, I'm so cool. And that's absolutely not the concept they can do. Like they really Again, should there be was doing a this. reason that the better with Wan the elegance. Young in, yeah, definitely. there was a reason that yeah. Wan Young in Eyes One was never truly an issue, and then the minute she's in Ive, there was an issue. Uh-huh. The concept switch doesn't work for them. They don't have the vibe or the style. Or any of that. I think the group can work. It's just they've unfortunately decided to be this. They've they've put all their eggs in this concept. And I don't know if that's great. Like, it doesn't. It's not a great time. Yeah. It is not. This is absolutely not the concept they should be doing. <laughs> but the problem is I feel like they're doubling down. That's the thing. is because if we didn't also get kitsch this year, I would be like, okay, yeah. maybe this was like a one-time thing. But the fact that we did get kitsch and then it's the like... The fact that we got kitsch maybe, and then we got this. Yeah, and then it's like... And now we're just going to keep doubling and down like, on this. And like, we did get I Am, but it's also like, this concept could just stick around for that forever. And that's, this could be what they're doing. Like... This Ugh. could be what this could be what we get forever. This could be just what they do now. I was just frustrated because I'm just more frustrated at star at like um, it's starship, right? Starship, because I'm like starship. You had yeah, yeah. What's their face as a girl group? You, excuse me. They had sister. Sister. Um, and and like you guys killed it with that, and it's like, is that it? That's all you guys had, juice wise. The thing with well, the other thing with starship is that. I always felt like Starship, whether I liked or disliked the music, I felt like they were able to pick between Sistar and, and Cosmic Girls to an extent. They were able to very clearly map out a concept. And, like, even to groups I dislike, Monster X, for example, they managed to put on a concept to a group that made the group work and just gave them shitty songs. I think the concept Monster X ended up with was the concept they should have had i just think the songs were bad same with cosmic girls i think that and i think with ive they've sort of decided and it's a thing that starship has done with all their groups which is that they pick the concept super early and they commit for their entire career <laughs> and i think ive is just unfortunately been saddled with they're the wrong committing concept. to the wrong concept they're committing to the wrong thing because like cosmic girls like you look at an early cosmic girl song you look at the late cosmic girl songs there's a there's a distinction and they'll vary a little bit, but like there's a line there. Sister did the same thing. Monster X did the same thing. Like they commit to concepts early. Yep. The unfortunate thing is, I think they're committing to the wrong concept early. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's, yeah. yeah. Even Gravity. Gravity less less information to go Still, off of. But, what, you know. what have they been doing this year? I feel like I haven't heard from them. They've been. Uh, they've I think been Gravity had a comeback. Making un, like unoffensive music. Oh, right. Unoffensive. Not, but like same vibe. They're not that they making have like room room past. skirt anymore. Oh my so god! That's no, good. but but like the same the same energies. Yeah, but like less bad songs. Yep, yep. And I don't think the co- the problem with other than I, which is a completely wrong concept. Starship, it is probably good to pick a concept early and then just run with it. You'll establish yourself quite well. I just think this is the first time they've missed the mark so badly, and. I don't know if it came from a place to try to differentiate this Wan Young from the Eyes One Wan Young. Uh huh. Or I don't know, man. I don't know. That's like the only excuse I can come up with why you'd do this. Right. They think it's popular. Um, they think Blackpink is probably not re signing their contracts, <laughs> so they think we gotta get a replacement. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. It's, it's probably. It's true. Probably not. Like they prob- probably like, not. like we haven't heard anything. And I don't I feel know what like they're gonna do. They're I mean, they're, they're gonna doing. probably. They're gonna I don't probably know what's get happening. To a point where they're just like, yeah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Uh-huh. I mean, they're already at a point where they ha- they ain't done music oh, in yeah. years. Nope. Moving on to a group that tells us exactly what this song is gonna be from. Your title. You know, I know. Like, oh, we know. We know. We know from it. already what to expect. We already knew. And also another repeat offender on this list. We have extraordinary heroes with freaking bad. You know, I don't know what 
I was expecting from it's a like, group why that do tells I me even, exactly Why do I even what bother be. with it anymore <laughs> when they're telling right? me from the beginning? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Everything they do, I'm reminded about how much JYP is bad at making bands. I know. And the thing is, it's, it's so bad. weird because... It's really shit. We we had we had what's it called on last year? We had haircut last oh, year, God, right? That was yeah. bad. Get a haircut. And like that song had ambition. That song had like weird metaphors, but a metaphor. It had things. This song What is it? Has none has no things. No it things. just exists and says the word freaking bad freaking, a lot. Freaking bad but good. Bad, what is freaking it? Freaking bad but good. And I I don't know how a group loses their ambition so quickly. I know. Because <laughs> it, it just feels like a Mad Lib of just like, I don't know, we need an adjective, we need a noun, it's we need everything. a verb. And then you just sort of make a song and just put it out there into the world with like no expectations uh-huh. for it to be good and just for it to exist. And I'm like, really? Is that what you wanted? Listening to Extraordinary Heroes it just sounds like shit. is when I truly understand when like, Teachers who are, like, millennials or, like, our age, and, like, they show, like, Dear Maria, count me into their <laughs> students, yeah. and they're like, why does he sound so yeah. emo? That Like, listening to Extraordinary Heroes is like, I understand what those students are hearing. <laughs> like, I get it. Because, like, they don't, and, like, yeah, no, the emo singers were, like. They were a lot. <laughs> they were a lot. And this were is, they the best option? Probably not. The but, like, emo. there was at least emotion there. They're all, and this group is also doing the weird emo thing. It's different than, what it, than, like, what those groups in, like, the early 2000s, 2010s are doing. But it just sounds awful. Like, it sounds Here's what bad. it is. Here's my theory. I think these kids did listen to those songs. But the problem is, I think these kids still want to be cool. Yeah. I think that those ki- those those emo boys thought that they were too yeah. good to be cool so they leaned into just being yeah. fucking weirdos uh-huh. and they were weirdos but in and like, a lot of and don't google any of them because you're not gonna like what you see but in k-pop you can't don't be google a weirdo you, you can't, can't be, a be weirdo. ugly and a weirdo so you have to be cool so but like you don't even have to be ugly you just can't not be conv- like sing conventionally do all that other stuff like there's i don't know there's just nothing there that makes me think that they're anything different than I mean, some of the groups that are doing this weird emo rock bass, like, what makes them any different than Zykers? Yeah. What makes them any different than a group that we actually like? What makes them any different than Blitzers? Sure, they play the instruments, but right. those are in the backing track of those Zyker songs, those Blitzer songs. And I don't know what I get from them that I can't get from anybody else. That second, and they dance. That That's second an added bonus. That second Zyker song, Do or Die, as soon as I heard it, I was like, this is what Extraordinary Heroes wants to be. Like, they want to be that, but they're not that. Yeah, the Zyker song. The second Zyker song, yeah. It's so weird that the the, the point of comparison of ex- Extraordinary Heroes isn't another band. It's Zyker. It's another group Zykers. we also don't really like. But are doing that at least they're not this, they're they're not not this, this bad, bad this year. No. Zykers is at least has some ambition. I see I could see potentials for Zykers. I think the problem with Zykers is yeah. that they're too tied with the 80s. Zykers concept. has made good music. Um Extraordinary Zykers has, Heroes made true music. has yet to make good music. <laughs> Cause like I can also see, like, we like Tricky House, their debut. Right. And I can also see a little bit of Zyk of like ex- Extraordinary Heroes in like more the background of Tricky House, but yeah. like in Tricky House too. And I just think that, like, there is a way to do this emo rock style K pop. Zykers is doing it. And I think there is a way for a band to do it. Right. I just think that this band. It's not singing in the way that they is, they're currently no. singing. Like, that's not the way. It's a lot. And I just think that, like, again, the emo band's questionable. Google no one. Uh-huh. Google nobody. All of them are. I got a. An- I saw another. I saw an- a, t- a TikTok about another person. Someone Googled, and I'm like, "How are all of them doing this?" Oh yeah, all of them did it. Yep, yep. But I, uh, I just think that it's, it's a genre that I, at this point, I'm seeing come up because at this point we have two groups who have established their identity doing this. Right. Possibly three if you count Blitzers, and I think like, ju- like a bunch of like 
little boy like new boy groups have been doing it because i think like just b's new song kind of fits in there too and there's like other Tia things is also it. in this realm of Tia yeah. too and i think that there is going to be someone that figures out how to do it Maybe it is Tiat because at this point they are probably the it best. Is, it is not going to. It is not going to be extraordinary yeah, no, heroes. No, it's, not it's, not be them. it's not. They're not, not going to be. The and ones well, they are it out. the most traditional because they are a band, and this does start as a band thing. I think they don't have the ambition to try to make it work. No, I think they want to make songs that are both like their emo, you know, thirteen-year-old writing in their notebook with the blinds drawn heart, but also they don't. They want to be cool. Yeah. And don't have the um emo- or aren't given because these none of these groups write their own songs really, like either don't have the emotional range or aren't given songs with the emotional range because they're kind of surface level. Everything about extra extraordinary heroes is surface level. Uh huh. Like, Some of them don't even want to be a band. Haircut. They don't even want to be a band anymore. Yeah. So. That. And why would they? Why would they pull from their emotions if they don't even want to be there? They don't want to be here. That might be the most emo part of this: is that a yeah, bunch of them don't want to be there. A bunch of them didn't that even want to be there. I don't want to be here. I'm gonna sit and the the song. That so is like the shit. most emo they'll ever be. <laughs> is the fact that they're they can't they can't really leave. Yep, they're contractually know, obligated now. <laughs> it's unfortunate. And, like, weirdly, I can also hear a little bit of in some Boy Next Door songs. Yeah. Some of them. Like, I think, I think, and I think there's a way. Z- Block B also did some emo bullshit when they were around. <laughs> so, like, I wouldn't be surprised if, like. They go that direction. Bo- emo bullshit in, like, the best way possible. That's a, that's a compliment. Right. That's not an insult. Uh, You know what I mean? But like, like the, they can pull the, that the, Like, high emo door. is a very distinctly different, different than different. what this type of emo and, like, the Zyker's emo Look and whatever. At the, the TXT emo is not the same as the Zyker's emo. Right. Uh, the Zyker's or the Extraordinary Heroes emo. Right. But again, that emo, that TXT emo, that... Uh, Boy, Boy next door emo is how you do cool emo because that was cool. That like, is cool, it, but you still have to. But you can't try to be cool. You got to try to be like. Look at TXC. TXC committed, uh-huh. and they didn't look. They but they were like cool in the end because they were dramatic as shit. Uh-huh. I don't know. There's a way to do it, and I just think no one's this, figured it out this, yet. The extraordinary heroes, whatever they're doing, is not the way. No. And I think there is a way that you can't, like, we're going to get it soon because there's been, like, four groups doing it. I just, uh, I hope we find it soon because it's a struggle with what we're getting sometimes. Uh-huh. This, so the next song on the list is the song that kicked off um, ISTJ from this list, so. And we immediately put it so high because so we're like, oof. Yeah, yeah, this one, Yeah. It's interesting. It's um, a big oof. Very interesting, but it just makes me more and more frustrated with the company of this group because I'm just like, I see the potential there. I see money was put into the music video, but like, ugh, every time they throw the potential out the door with this group, and it frustrates me to no freaking end because at number five, we have Aespa with Drama. Drama. The minute Kayla the drama is just putting on this list, we were like, "No, what the fuck is this?" Nope, absolutely. Yep, and not. I was just like, <laughs> "Why are they toxic once this again?" This falls into they the- can sing. These girls could sing. There's what are we so doing? Rap. Once again, stop with the rap. So much rap. So, rap rap so much stop with the rapping. fucking rap. <laughs> SM can't do vocal, uh, can't do rap-based boy groups. Can yeah. they, they, they really thought they could do a I, rap-based uh, girl group? Jesus Come yes. on. I'm saying. And um, like, so it's like how we just talked about with Ive of being the cool girl, but look at how much I don't care and I'm doing nothing. Espa is that, like, turned up, like, an extra a thousand percent. Yeah. So, so I've come up with a metaphor. I came up with a metaphor. So if Blackpink, it's 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 Mean Girls of based, course. topical. The movie's coming out soon. Uh-huh. The musical. Uh, the movie's a musical, mean by Girls the movie. way, for the people that it's don't know. I not not technically a remake. Musical. It's Surprise, the musical, musical version of the musical. Of the, of the musical. Movie. I mean, but also is a the remake, musical is a remake of um, the movie. So, but you know what I mean. You know. 
But the movie but, will be okay. a musical. Do not expect to go Do into that Do not expect movie it not to be a musical. No music. It will be a musical. <laughs> Yes, but uh, let's do a Mean Girls, right? So if Blackpink is the plastics, uh-huh. they are the prime. They make this work. They're fun. Plastics, you love to hate them, but they're the cool girls, right? Remember at the end of Mean Girls, how there's the, the middle school version? Yeah, they're like coming the next, into high school. The next version. That is Ive. They don't have the vibe, but they got the spirit, I guess. Uh, Espa are the mannequins and that one scene where Regina can't fit in the dress because she's a size six and she should be a size yeah. two. Uh-huh. Like that that is what they are. They are wearing the clothes, but they have none There's of the nothing. spirit. They have none of the life. They're giving they, they are give the mannequins. So much nothing. Every single they time I see them, they're nothing. giving me nothing. Like absolutely. The AI nothing. somehow give we got rid of the AIs for this one, but like the AI somehow give a little more than they do. It's honestly like, it, crazy to me how much nothing they're giving. Like how that was and it's it's, I mean, it's definitely intentional at this point it is but it's like i like i just can't i can't deal with it i'm like literally they're not cool like you don't look cool by literally just standing there and doing nothing like i it just makes me not like you you look so bored and also nothing about what you're doing is so effortless and cool that it justifies you being so bored while doing it. Yeah, exactly. It. It's not... The only way this concept to me works is if you're doing this, like... Like, like you're singing so well, you're rapping well, you're dancing well, and you're like, well, this is just effortless. I'm a cool girl. This is, like... I'm not straining myself to do any of it. Mm-hmm. When you're doing basic shit and you look bored doing it, you look like you don't want to be there. And, and that's the issue with... It's, Especially Espo, because they look the most bored out of everybody. There's so much nothing. They're truly giving so much nothing. I mm-hmm. I can't believe how how or why that is the this is what they have decided to go with, like as a concept, is just give me absolutely nothing. And like the worst part about it is like you can tell there was money put in this. There's, there's so much. And I actually money, liked. And I like the music. Vi- I like the way the, the music video was shot, executed. The, no problem with the music video. Yeah, the music Great. video. But the song, yeah, but like the, the song music video was shit. I feel like you can the throw money lacking. at anything and make cool visuals. The, the song, song is, is so bad. It's so like, bad. Like it, it, the song is so lacking because they're giving nothing. I feel like at this and point. And also, sure, the music video looks cool, but it does it. It also looks like eight other sm videos from mm-hmm. the last five years that also they could have been a red all, velvet music video for all i know could have been like, a red velvet and it could have been like uh it hell, red velvet probably would have done better from, with from that MCT. kind of concept for the red velvet would have done, done better with it red yeah. velvet would have done the song better but like red velvet would have never taken a song yeah. that's that much rap red velvet yeah. would have been like no you have to replace the rap with vocals yeah. and Something thrive else, here yeah like, also, and they would have done it so well. They would have been giving me something. Yeah. Like, they would have... Red Velvet they, is another yeah. one that can do... It's different, because it's, like, creepy cool girl. Right. But, like, they've done it before. Look at Psycho. Look at uh, Bad Boy. Right, all of for that. For as much as that song is iffy, but, like, the, the vibe is correct. Right. Like, Red Velvet can do it. SM has done it before. Girls' Generation has done it in, like, things like You Think and stuff like that. It's not that they can't get the girls to do it. It's that they've got... Either the wrong girls, yeah, and they should be doing a different concept. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's giving nothing. It's, there's so much. You thought you there, did something, but you gave. But nothing. there's nothing. You're giving me absolutely nothing. The only person I get something out of sometimes is Karina, and that's literally it. Like everyone else is giving me so much nothing. Yeah, it's just I don't know, man. I think that there is potential there. But the other problem is I don't think SM is ever going to let these girls show anything. And at this I'm point, at it doesn't point matter. I don't think so freaking I'm at popular, the point, you know? Yeah, and I'm at the point where I don't, I don't think there's potential here anymore. Like, you've given me so much bad music and so I, much music yes. where you're giving me nothing. And I'm like, okay, maybe there I is meant, actually I meant that nothing the, here. What I meant is that there was at one point, I don't think these girls are fully devoid of talent. I just don't see potential in this group because of SM. Like, this, this group is never going to give me anything I want. Nothing, yeah. And nor do they have to, which is the and at the problem. and at the end of the day, this this still did well. Loving, you know, people are, people this are loving the fact yeah. that they're giving nothing. That's the problem. It's like people have admitted that they're giving nothing, and they're like, "That's the and point. that's why and they like, look." Really? I, I've literally seen someone t- like write a post about the fact that they're giving nothing makes them hotter, and I'm like, "Okay, what are what's happening?" 
What is this? Well, I think it's also people just trying to defend their know, choice and taste of music at some point. Which, like, at the end of the day, it's all personal preference, you know? Like, well, I don't, I don't exactly. care if you love it. But you know what? If you love it, good for you. You know, it's the same thing with how we feel about Stray yeah. Kids most years. K Spoiler alert, like, Stray Kids that, is not on great. this list this year, great, so great. good for them, I guess. No. Nope. No, they're not. Thankfully. Uh, I have a theory about that, and we'll get to it when we get to, I think, the next one. I think. Yeah. I oh, about. yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the next one or the one after. Yep, yep. They're both the same Might song. Well. The same, and but just a little different. So at number four, we have another group that's been teetering on being on this list for for a while now. The here's the thing: the drop off was like more significant. Like it was a fast. It was a fast drop off. Drop -off. It was very fast to drop off because <laughs> they were so good one year and so bad the next year. They were good from like so from like debut yeah. till so recently, and then such a steep drop off. Yeah, because at number four we have ATs with bouncy. K-Hot Chili Peppers. I'm just confused by this weird, um, like, what is Why? it? Cowboy Cyberpunk 2077 type world. First off, number one. Number two, um, what the fuck is this chorus? Why are people yeah, loving this, um, the whole better. movement thing? I'm like, guys, have better taste than this. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? It's, it's... It's, it's the perfect good. combination of loud, obnoxious, and just honestly, no offense, a little bit pretentious. Because I is. think they thought it's, they were doing they something. They really here. think they're doing a lot. They here. thought they were doing something. And maybe that is also coming from the fact that they the song they came out with like two, three days ago. Yeah. Also feels extremely pretentious to me because I'm like, oh, you think you're doing something. They do. You think you're saying something. The song is also think... about nothing. Like it really this, is. It's like it's really for a song called Bouncy K Hot Chili Peppers. It's a lot less about sex than you would think it is initially. Honestly, if it was about sex, I would honestly almost respect it more because at least right. that's a top. Grace, the song is the, the song is not about anything. Like the song no. truly is just words the whole way through. <laughs> Cause like you think a song called Bouncy and Hot and, and so much chili pepper. Pe chili pepper imagery, which in that which in South Korea is just that's what they use as like Sex. eggplant emoji. That's what that is. Mm hmm Um like it would work so well, but also I do think that it's the other thing of, like, them trying to be, no offense, trying to be as commercially successful as possible. And so, well, you can't make it about sex. That will alienate some people. So we got to just make it about sex, but, but also a, not but at all about sex, but about only sex. in, like, a, yeah, but only vaguely about sex because we have to be hip for the kids. Right. And then we got to be loud for the kids. And then we got to be, like... 80 other things yeah and i'm like you're trying to do everything so you're doing nothing yeah ats has then, really j gone so far into the realm of like using the noise music made out of construction site type music and also and no, it's just the the drop off after kingdom is really where that happened yeah. so fast where it was they were making they were always they've always been loud yeah. they've always been kind of obnoxious but at after Kingdom, we, like, crossed yeah, the point of no return I don't get it. I really don't get it. Because and it, the other thing with what they've been doing recently is that it's... The fact that I know yeah. that what I'm saying is not true almost makes it worse, which is the fact that it sounds like they're using all the noise as a crutch for yeah. the fact that they can't sing. Which is not, not true. true. You can't, which, is, which is not which true. Is actually which is, just like, not the worst true, part. Right? Like, it sounds like they are just going with, like, because you can't hear the singing a lot. The rapping gets a lot more time and the attention to it. The distortion, and there's then a lot just, of that in that the song. The distortion's yeah. there. It's so loud on the choruses. You can hear them hitting notes, but, like, it's so covered with mechanical noises that yeah. it might as well not be there. Right. And it, like, almost sounds like you're trying to hide that you can't sing. Right. Which is, they, just, and they don't so need that. They really don't need to do that. Like, it's not. They have 
great vocalist. Not when they've released like Answer and Inception, where the vocals are just like popping off all the time. Like we don't, I they don't need to be doing this. It's so unfortunate that they're like it just sounds yeah. like they're using it as a crutch. Yeah. It is, and that's. I think that is the thing I realized in their like a lot of the recent music is is also in the new one they just released too, mm-hmm. where the the auto tune crazy form yeah the auto tune is just all it over really the is. place in these songs it's like yeah. wild and like their singers haven't changed they didn't lose anybody no, they're nothing exactly happened. the same they're exactly the same group from when they debuted so like nothing so, like, happened what the fuck happened. They just decided vocals were overrated. I thought we were, vocals were coming back. It's like it's truly like they, they're like three years too late for all of I, these I don't like understand. no vocal I don't really get They're like too late for those. Here. At some point in time, they just had to. They just made the assumption that John Ho was like no longer Apparently. useful or something. Like, it's, sorry, John right? Ho, uh, we're gonna put you in the back. Right. Yo Sung's getting more lines than John yeah, Ho. I feel are. like kinda, or they're burying. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> because like you, I. Like, if you listen for it, you can hear that he is hitting high notes, but it's buried in this, like, mechanical bullshit. Like, I have to listen for it to be like, oh, are you here? Right. You here, buddy? Right, because they're so auto-tuned now that even if John Coe's there, like, you can't recognize what he sounds like no. anymore. <laughs> and, like, who knows if it's, like, he's hitting the notes, but it could also just be a blasting horn in the back. Like, right. who knows? You could... Re- Ugh. I don't know, man. It just feels like they took all the wrong lessons from Kingdom. Because, like, what did well on Kingdom was these, like... And to be honest, this was just them being That's taught true. terrible lessons on Kingdom, which is that, like, what what won on Kingdom? Uh-huh. Loud, obnoxious, rap-based, all of these things that they weren't doing at the time... And then when they realize that they lost Kingdom, they're like, well, what if we just do this? Right, right. And that's the unfortunate part, is that they took everything that I that was good about them and that made them unique and that made them fun. Uh-huh. And that weirdly influenced other people, because now you hear a lot of vocal-based vocalists are coming back, which they've been gone for the last couple of years. Like, right, you hear, right. like, like, choruses are coming back. Things like that are coming back. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah, when AT decides to leave. No, what auto the hell? tune only. <laughs> it's, I don't like, understand. I think about I think about even a little bit. Yeah, like, not that this that that they involve, but like think about even. Even does give a little AT's energy, a little more in their noise music era. Right. But like you know what I mean, where it's like, well, you still have the vocalist; they're still singing. There's right, a little right. bit of that, but like, like you can see an AT's influence in it. Uh huh. But it's just now ATs has decided they're too good for that it. That and also like P1 what Harmony. P1 Harmony runs P1 a lot of Harmony. ATs in the way that they also are very like loud, but they mm-hmm. have the really good vocal ability there to like hold up the rapping and stuff. Yeah. Um, except that and I like, don't think they. I can never see P1 Harmony making the pivot. I don't think so. I don't think this no. type of music. That. I can't see even making that pivot. Yeah. E- even, even only even has one would song. not make that pivot either. Yeah. No. It's just so unfortunate, just because, like, you have vocalists on that quality, and they're here. And, like, not Ugh. that the rapping's bad, but, like, right. when you're not saying anything, there's only so much I can take from this. I know. And also when the beat sounds like shit. <laughs> the instrumental what is can I truly do? just, like, overtaking everything. Also, yeah, why, why did we, we bring, bring back chipmunk back? vocals? Yeah, I don't know why we're doing... Also, why were they here? Why is that in the song? Or, I don't know. It yeah. feels mostly like squandered potential. It does. It, it's it, they make and me so the, sad I because too. I used to like them a I lot. Too. They used to so be much. so good. They were so like, good. Early 80s, 80s had a, 80s such a good so streak. Good. I mean, debuted a twenty twenty. I would even say like twenty twenty one eighties. Twenty twenty one eighties was still pretty good. Yeah, it was still pretty good. And then they just dropped off. Because it did take a couple of comebacks after Kingdom for them to hit. I think yeah. once they hit Gorilla yeah. was the downfall of once we started getting all the really a noisy sharp stuff. decline. Yeah. But anyway, right, um, so another another group who and um, more is here has already has already been here and will be here again on the list. Um, at number three, we'll continue to be here next year. I'm betting now. They will, one of them in some form will be here next year. We have NCTU. NCT 2023, whatever you want to call it, with baggy jeans.
God, this was bad. Ugh. What a nonsense. So bad. Everything about oh, this. My God. This is nonsense. It's, it's so, so bad. bad. So, so, um, this is where I am going to put my theory as to, um, so we talk a yeah. lot about how we don't like stray kids. Right. And, but we don't put them on the list that often. Uh-huh. And, uh, I came up with a theory of why, which is that Stray Kids is weirdly only has one person that's obnoxious. Uh-huh. Two, and two people on a bad day that are obnoxious. Right. And it's Bang Chan and, uh... Chang Bin. Uh, ha- yes, Chang Bin. Both of them will get obnoxious in some points, but everyone else just seems like they're there, we're doing the music... The music great, sometimes, pro- usually not. But, like, we're present. Mm-hmm. The problem is when everyone's obnoxious. Yep. And-, and that's what NCT does a lot. That's what ATs has been doing recently. Yep. That's where the issues come in. And when you double, you on top of the obnoxious and the song sounds like shit, it's like, really, what is there to save here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do. I think that's what the main difference is. Because while I don't like the Stray Kids, I mean, there's still... Look, there's only so much I can hate on it. It's... There's a lot more I can hate on this. Yeah, so... This the, is nonsense. So, like, if you yeah. Why have we got disembodied jeans? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the Mark Lee Yeah baby Boy jeans. that's, like, five seconds long or some yeah. shit. It's yeah. just, like, what's going on, my guy? It's so... And this is also, I think, a great comparison because this is the the Seventh Sense unit. And just to put Uh, that song right next to this, and it's like, what have we done in the last, like, seven years we've had NCT? We brought Ten back to Korea for this. Yeah. (laughs) This song feels like a frat house. It does. In a bad bad way. Not Not a fraternity. The frat house. Yes. It feels like everything w- that's wrong with the closest the world. thing I can explain it because, like, the chorus truly sounds disgusting. The like way that they're saying baggy jeans in the chorus just sounds actually disgusting. It reminds me a lot of like the get a haircut from last year at Extraordinary mm-hmm. Heroes, where it's like they're saying that in the most disgusting way they can possibly say that phrase. That's def like that's it's- what baggy jeans is here. <laughs> It feels a lot like our problem with, like, a lot of times, I think mainly with just the way boy groups have developed, they don't have necessarily the same problem that girl groups have, which is the cool girls but gives us nothing. They're giving me too much. This is the closest, this is like the closest, almost in the opposite direction, that is the problem with boy groups, which is cool boys that are just but you're going doing off too the rails much. and seem a little bit crazy. Yeah. Like, like it, that's... That's the problem right. with the boys. Like, there's no, like, there's not a sane person here in this music video. <laughs> there's also not like a. It's also does, got like a it? pseudo YG ending chorus that is cr- it kind does. of crazy and like sounds really bad. <laughs> it just feel and like it has the same issue that the boys' music video has, where it's like. Full of just randomly shirtless members of NCT for no reason, no reason. who think that they're yeah. like, what about this song is sexy? The disembodied jeans, the, <laughs> or something. the disembodied jeans that require you God, to be yeah. shirtless with some of the worst shirtless. looking fake it's tattoos I've ever seen. Really bad, really bad, really bad looking, really bad t- looking tattoos, they're really bad f- fake tattoos. But like, it's. It's like a culminate, like, 127, like, that's the problem with NCT is that this is an NCT song. Yeah. There's nothing about this that makes it a U song that couldn't also just be given to 127. No, this could have been 127 that, and I wouldn't bat an eye. Like, this is nope. nothing about this. And, like, this weirdly, I could also see them giving this to Dream because they're all the same fucking unit now. Yeah. Like, this could have been Translated anybody. Translated to Japanese and it could have been gone to NCT Tokyo. Translated into Chinese and I feel like Wavy would have done it. Wavy could do it. Literally anyone in SM Entertainment just, could do it, probably. This doesn't sound enough dissimilar to Hard by Shiny. Yeah. The, this sounds closer to it than I feel comfortable with. Right. They don't sound, like, similar in most ways, but, like, the vibes are similar. I know. And I'm like, I and don't, like, I don't like how close, too close that is. Yeah. It is it just, just... it's And it's, like, at this point in time when they've been making bad music for so long, and I'm, I can't be disappointed or surprised at anything that is going on here anymore. 
No. Because it's like I expect it to be this and it's weird and it's bad. Yeah. And like the thing is, you look at old NCT and we've we've talked about them and you see more wa- wasted potential. Yeah. Because that's you cause like into 80s, all of the worst parts of what this group was. Because like ATs, I at one point in time really enjoyed NCT as Same. a concept. And here we are. I own more NCT albums than I, I would don't like own to. any I NCT own way albums. More NCT albums than I would like the to closest own. thing I got is Super Am. I almost said Sperm. Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, mine, mine <laughs> is well the same thing. <laughs> that's the closest I have to owning anything NCT wise, which you put that uh, at this point in time. But the thing is, like that that NCT, I still yeah. Say, early they NCT had potential, right. and they I used just to early NCT, all NCT of it. was pretty solid, and then SM decided to screw it up with the production, and then here we are. Uh, now, what could possibly be what two even songs worse could than possibly that? be? Worse I don't know. Than I mean, jeans. I'd argue Baggy Jeans is probably worse than that song, but we'll talk about it anyways. I will. We'll talk about no. it anyways. Um. <laughs> What to say on this? The only thing positive I think I can say is that I like the behind the scenes video of the guy who directed the music video for this next song. It was cool, creative, interesting, sounds like he had a great time, Korea, good for him. Otherwise, it's probably the least of the positive stuff I have to say. Um, because, you know, sometimes some joke songs should be made more jokey and not as seriously as I think this song was. I think this song was a little bit too serious. And number two, we got. The one, not the only, but possibly there could be copycats from this, I can, I'm willing to bet. Yum Posse with Macaroni Cheese. Put it in the freezer. Ooh, ice. Breakfast to dinner. Mm, so nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this so song that, sounds um, so disgusting. So Young Posse is the a new girl group from DSP. <laughs> this is their debut song, Macaroni Cheese. It's so unfortunate that this is what this is your first impression. But it was of the shot world. well. It is D- was it Director X? Did disgusting good. sounding. It does. It does sound it disgusting. Sound <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> it, it sounds gross. Me, it's <laughs> It sounds Listen, gross. macaroni and cheese, like my you, mom's like macaroni and cheese is yummy. I don't want a song about it. Again, it sounds I don't want a song about it. Just the way you describe macaroni and cheese like that just makes it sound like the most unappetizing with the food. The song imaginable. starting off also with the like the dictionary, the definition, dictionary definition of macaroni and cheese. And also, you say that the video looked nice. The video makes macaroni and cheese look disgusting. And there are some really bad CGI pictures of macaroni and cheese in there. Like, and it makes it look like a gross food. I just, I don't understand what what is, this what is this, about. What, what the whole the whole thing really. Because also, because, because also, also it's this not song, a metaphor for anything. Right? It just is about. This is actually the just a song about macaroni and cheese. Like that's. That's it. And I feel so... It was so funny where people were like, oh, the lyrics of the song are bad. Well, that's not their fault. Well, the members did write the lyrics to the song, so it is kind of their fault. They're the ones who did that, and but... also, even if I... Like, I don't understand the lyrics. They're in Korean. Like, yeah. they sound like shit. They sound bad. They can't... They, they're bad rappers. They are. They're not... Uh, they're whisper singing, which is another knock against you. Like, nothing about this song has any positives in it. No. And it's, it's like, for me, it's not ridiculous enough that I can consider it, no. like, camp, because it's just, it feels like it's taking itself way too seriously, number one. Um, and also, it's just, like, I, j- I, like, I just truly don't understand writing a song about macaroni and cheese in as seriously as, as this song did. Like, as your debut song, this is the thing that is good. This is the song that is going to be, unless you're extremely lucky, this is going to be what the first time and possibly the last time people hear you. Yeah. Unless you're lucky. One of the only good things about this group's debut yeah. I was hearing was that, well, they're not like new jeans and that's good for them. And I'm like, okay, if we have nothing else good to say other than that, like... 
other than they're that not they're not a new, new jeans, jeans copy like is there any like what are there's not a lot here <laughs> no not at all it's unfortunate yeah in every way this is not it it's really and not the I way i just i don't know i don't I think that, th- I don't know, I don't want to say never follow your dreams, but also I don't know where we improve because everything's wrong and they're also have shown me no talent. If we can. So maybe it's a wash. If we can make it camp, the next song Perhaps. more camp, but in like a, in a more fun, less serious kind of a way. Yeah, but I don't like, know sure. if I trust K-pop to be camp. Like I mean, on K-pop purpose. K-pop is camp on without purpose. trying. Well, we gotta get like B- we gotta get essentially um, B- parody song. We gotta get BM in here to really to help him out because I feel like BM could Maybe help. Maybe BM with this does camp. need BM some help. BM makes unintentional help camp. Yeah. <laughs> I think you gotta give BM like free reign and not be like, okay, BM, make a comedy song. Right. You gotta just be like, BM, make a song, and it unintentionally it'll be a comedy. And then song. it'll be like, it's funny as hell. I don't know if I trust K-pop to do intentional camp. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It feels I don't know. that's like. It's like when you make an intentionally bad movie, like the you gotta you're, the best you're like walk, the best bad you're walking things. on thin ice with when you try to make something like, intentionally bad. Exactly, like you gotta go into something earnestly, and if it ends up bad, then you've made camp mm-hmm. at least, and it still still gets and it's and it gets still gets like significantly worse. Yes, who could be worse than NCT? You say who, who can? can? Except maybe. A sing- you know what's worse than NCT? A singular individual of NCT. By himself. Because at number one, we have... Taeyeon. With Sha La La. We got the bombs. Wow, 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 wow. We got the bombs. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh god. Wait. Oh god. So, um I mean, a oh, oh, positive thing, they did put some effort into this music video. Music I don't video know what's happening, but they put no, no, effort. No, no, no. It does look high effort, but high I don't effort. even want to give them creativity points because me and Kayla watched this once and we yes. figured out exactly what this it was. This is G-Dragon's this crayon. This was just a rip off of G-Dragon's crayon in every way. I see that. I see Song, that. Song, music video, styling, vibe. And he's not He's not good he's enough. He's not doing it. He's not camp enough to do no, he's it. Not. He's not camp enough and he's also not willing to not be the cool guy. Like cuz G Dragon and Crayon, Crayon is G-Dragon. kind of being an idiot and like being there to be stupid. And like willing and willing also willing to be the bud of the joke. Yeah. Like he's willing to put on the weird little football Frankenstein suit. He's willing to do like the weird Pinocchio bits. He's willing to be both the person doing the jokes and the butt of the jokes. Yes. Taeyeon just wants to be the cool guy that everybody wants to be. And so he And I'm like, and it do, and it, that concept, but when you're just trying to be cool is so much less good when you are not contributing to the camp element at all because you're trying to look no. cool. And the reason yeah. we like it to foil Blitzer's Macarena is Blitzer's Macarena also reminds us a lot of G Dragon's Crayon, but if it was done by a 2023 boy group. Cause that's it also it's, an ca- it's got that because that music video is also camp in a lot of ways where the music video doesn't make any sense and there's weird zombies and it's like weirdly comedic and funny but they're doing it so much better and so much more fun and the song is called Macarena yeah. like it, that's they're doing exactly. it way better exactly. than he could ever Taeyeon could ever be doing in this song and it's just unfor like he just feels like he got the vibe he's like well I want to be this. I want to be doing this and just decided. And then they were just like, just didn't take the time to understand what it takes to be that. Like if Taeyong was do doing the concept, this, if, to embody the concept. Yeah. If Taeyong wanted to do this correctly, he would also be playing God, like a random white man who was yeah. God in the music video. That would also be Taeyong in this, in and this like, scenario. He would also randomly be, you know, instead of just, I don't know. It feels so half baked because the jokes aren't even real. Yeah, like it just 
I don't know. And it also sounds like absolute song, garbage because he's not a good rapper. These top three also, songs are truly like the epitome of like the song sounds disgusting. Like I, the way yes. that the song is so, like song sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> and also how upsetting is it that he actually does moves from the Macarena? In <laughs> it's actually so funny. He's actually just doing <laughs> actually the Macarena. Just and I'm like, you the Macarena. really just don't know what you're like. It's just a lot. It's it's so much because he really truly thinks he's the coolest man imaginable, and and like it, it, it is the man definition like of holy shit I'm so cool look at all this shit and I'm like you're doing eighty like re- no relax relax my man's uh huh because and every also- part of this music video where it's like this could be a comedic moment or anything. It just immediately, like, it, like, backtracks and is like, no, we can't do that. He has to look cool. Like, he has to look cool at every moment of this music video. We can't make it stupid. No, we can't actually have him do, like, a fun bit with the Yetis. No, he just gotta, like, beat them at video games. We can't make him do, like, a weird fun bit with being a knight. No, everyone just has to be super happy he's there. Like, you can't. There's jokes there. They're they're basic jokes. Yeah. But so is crayon. Like you gotta you have it's a three minute music video. You gotta do go with the basic shit. Mm-hmm. But like for the most part, he's just trying to be the cool one. And I'm like, when you do a comedy music video, you can't, you can't do just that. be the cool one. Yeah. Like there needs to be comedy in your comedy music video, and you're taking all of that and, away from it. And here's the thing. Exactly. We are being generous in calling this a comedy music video because if this is not intended to be a comedy music video it's, it's a worse. terrible music video yeah. because why have you shot it like a comedy music video yeah why have you put like it's so like if if this is supposed to be mr cool guy why have why does it look like that why does it have the random shit in it yeah like, some people will say, well, what if it's not comedy? Then it's even worse if it's not it's a comedy worse. music video. Then it it's just worse. truly doesn't make any sense at all. Because, like, you can tell he wants to be crayon. He wants to be the high energy, like, cool guy, but also, like... But kind of quirky. Of the people. Like, quirky, fun. And, like, G-Dragon does it super well, but there's a reason not many people do it. Because it's hard. You have yeah. to be willing be and like able type to, of person and you also got to be. No offense, a little bit of a weirdo. Yeah. G Dragon's a little bit. Of a yeah, you have to. You have to. Yeah. You have to be yeah. eccentric person. a little yeah. bit. He's not. He does. He, he refuses he to is, be a weird, a weird enough to be that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, yeah, G Dragon in his personal life is a weirdo. Like yes. you have to embody that. You can't just put that in your music. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just whenever I hear Taeyong rap too, I just was never That's interested. The thing I was just like, go is away. What, Taeyong is I don't like one of our biggest style. problems with NCT because he sounds so bad whenever he raps or sings. And he having does. a whole song of only him. I'm watching Crayon by GD right now, and it truly mm-hmm. is like that's that Taeyong song is so close to wanting to be this and just not not doing it. It really is. Yeah, it really, really is, and it's unfortunate for. Everyone involved. Yep. But that has been top 10 worst songs of this year. Um, bad list. A f- list full of eight songs that sound the same. And two other songs. Maybe this will die eventually. I hope so. It's, we've been doing this shit for too long now. We really have. Um, So we will have our awards soon we will also have a now that we have completed 2023 a top 15 best and worst songs of all time coming in january as well so that'll be so exciting um but yeah this is comes out on like new year's almost new year's eve so the next time the day before new year's eve next time you hear from us it'll be the new year happy new year and also belated merry christmas from last episode i guess yeah. Um, but we are available on all major podcasting platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We also have a YouTube channel where we post all of our episodes along with fun clip videos as well occasionally. Um, and with that, we will see you in our next episode in the new year. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.